Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, I got a couple of uh, real good carry guns right here. Um, this is what I'm currently putting into the rotation. I have the Ruger LCP right here. It's a great gun. Um, I got this in a uh, Blackhawk size one. It's pretty decent for carry. I mean, it's kind of a floppy material, but it definitely kind of hides the, the outline as it's in your pocket. It's pretty, pretty decent for a smaller gun. I definitely recommend that, especially for when you're going into areas with, uh, you know, people that aren't so gun friendly or, you know, family stuff or whatever. You put that in your pocket and nobody ever sees it out of sight, out of mind, you know, um, Right here, I got the Glock 26. That one I carried in the Galco Stow and Go, which is pretty decent. I mean, I carried it for a long time. You can kind of see it's a, a little sweaty and dirty, and you know, and it's still holding up. It works pretty, pretty decent. It does not really allow that much of uh, reholstering, though. If you see right here, this part collapses, and it's definitely not a good uh, good thing to be putting that in your pants. That's where the danger comes in, you know. So I'm like, okay, I might want to upgrade a little bit to a little better holster like this one. And this one is a uh, Filster holster. It's the Gen 2. I guess there was another one that he made prior to this, but this one... It was pretty pretty good. I I actually like this this type of uh, setup too with the little um, the little clip there. Instead of having the plastic like this, this one is way more concealable, like twice as concealable. Um, I actually started carrying this guy around a lot more than this because of the concealability. I mean t-shirt and jeans shorts whatever that one's a winner um what else i got the uh the ruger lcr 357 and the remora holster which that one's pretty pretty comfortable too like i actually i mean i've worn this one for a long time you can kind of see it's starting a little frayed up on the stupid little thing but aside from that this thing you know it kind of molds to your body a little bit as you carry it and uh holds up great that thing's perfect too and uh also i have this um as far as knives got this kershaw blur which is a pretty awesome knife i mean i've had this for probably five years plus no problems um i did actually have a friend he um <laughs> it's kind of funny he actually was using this thing and he he took the knife and he took the tip of it and he stuck it into something and pried it and broke the tip off like he like the very tip and uh, i sent this knife back in and they put a brand new blade on for me i forgot how much it was but i think it was maybe like 10 or 20 bucks or something like that but well worth it and this knife I'll probably keep forever unless I lose it or something, but uh, it's a pretty good deal. So either way, you can't go wrong with any of these or any of these. All right. Have a good day, guys. Bye.